Hello everyone. This is Sherry Minnie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I live in a small rural town of Kingsburg, Colorado, which is about 45 minutes northeast of Denver. Today is another scorching hot day in the beautiful state of Colorado. Uh, so ready for this heat to break and maybe head us a little bit towards fall. So today we're going to be making a card that uh, basically features a lot of dyes, very minimal stamping, uh, very minimal supplies. I happen to make it this particular one into a happy birthday card. Uh, I have also made it into a sympathy card using different colors, but um, today I thought we would do a birthday card. So to get started with, we are going to use two stamp sets. Um, Peaceful Moments is a very nice generic greeting stamp set I used for my sympathy card. I used this one. Today we're using that, this happy birthday one. And then on the inside we're using Wishing You Every Happiness This Special Day Will Bring. And then just to decorate our envelope, I'm going to use a stamp that I have um, from this Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. This is really one great big stamp set and it does have... Um, matching die set but I did a little surgery and cut off one of the smaller butterflies so that I could just use one single butterfly if I wanted to. The um, framelits that we are using uh, are the designer tags framelits. Uh, we're going to be using the butterfly and the little rose cut out and then our bases and layers are all done with the stitched rectangles and we'll be using a couple out of here. So in your packet you have envelope as always. We have a basic white thick card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. You'll have a piece of polished pink. I think this is about four and a quarter by five and a half and another piece of basic white that's about five by four. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make, if you notice on the card, we kind of have this little frame around here. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So what you do is you take your stitched rectangles. I'm, happy, I'm using number six and number seven. And what I do is, so it's easier for me to write instructions and let you guys know what one I'm using. I start labeling, numbering them from the smallest out. So this is number six and number seven. And what you're going to do with these is we're going to layer them up. We're going to make our frame. So you put it on your cardstock. You put your smaller one inside and you make, you try to get your spacing as far as even as you can in between these two and then tape it down with something and we're, and run it through the Big Shot, or I'm sorry, the Stampin' Cut an emboss machine. I did not bring that in here just because it's so big for my table and I can't really get it on my camera. But when you do that, what you get is you get pieces like this. So this is your little frame that's in here and then this piece is this inside piece and we're going to do some more die cutting from this piece. So you take your frame, you pull this apart and you're going to use the smaller framelit and you're going to use that on a piece of basic white and you're just going to cut here okay and when you do that you will get this solid white piece and then from that you take your little rose cut out and you're going to lay that down in the corner and again run this through your stamp and cut and boss machine and it's going to give you what you end up with is something that looks like this at the same time that you're cutting this out, you're going to take your piece of um, the polished pink piece, and I didn't tell you that was the color I'm using. And this is the piece that came out of the middle of that. You're going to take that. You're going to take the little butterfly from the same designer tag series. You're going to lay it up here, run it through your stamp and cut emboss machine, and that will give you this pretty little butterfly treatment for the front of your card. This is going to be covered up with the white so nobody's ever going to see that you um, cut that out of that piece. So let me get these framelits put back so I don't lose them because it's not fun when you lose framelits. Ask me how I know that. 
Okay, it's not hard at all to do. It just takes a little bit of uh, time to run it through the machine and then you have this really pretty frame. And you can back it with any, you can do it in any color that you want and just makes a nice backing. Okay, then once you get that done, we are going to do our stamping. So you'll be stamping on this piece here and on the inside of your card. We are going to be using the polished pink ink pad today. It's one of last year's in colors, one that I happen to really like. And we are going to take our happy birthday sentiment and we're going to stamp that kind of in the middle and what I did you want to have room for your little butterfly that you're going to put up here so I just laid it up there and kind of eyeballed it so I know about where I want to stamp my happy birthday gentle pressure leave it down for a few seconds and there you go and I don't think I got that in very straight but that's okay we're going to go for it all right then to finish up our stamping we will we will take our little butterfly here. This is gonna be for the envelope. We'll stamp it on the front of our envelope, like so, and then we'll stamp it on the inside of our card. Okay. And then the only other stamping we have to do is the inside greeting, and I have put this on my uh, stamp or my stamparatus. So we've all used this quite a bit in class, so I think everybody's familiar with it. But what you do is you just put your card in here. You take. I like to put something under the, the wing part here just so that when I ink it up it's kind of flat and I don't make such a mess with my ink pad. And I did not bring my Debbie tool in so we'll just put this down, rub over it, put a little pressure on it, not a lot. And there you go. There's our inside. So that is it for the stamping and the ink pad. I can put that away so I don't put my hand in it. And now it's a matter of building our card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, um, I have a little bit of glue or something on the edge of this one. So see, there we go. We're going to take some adhesive. I use my green cap glue. You all know that that's my favorite kind of glue. And we're going to back it onto this piece of polished pink that you cut the butterfly out. So that when you do that, you get this nice infill of color on your little rose image. So I just took this and went around the edges. Don't do a lot because you don't want it to gush out. And then I did some around my image and up in a, uh, anywhere that I could get a little bit of uh, adhesive, I did without getting too carried away with it. This is a brand new tube and it's been so hot. In my, I actually filmed my videos in my office and it's been so hot that my glue is pretty, pretty thin. And then we'll just take this and we'll line it up as best we can. What I usually do is pick it up and tap it around the edges and try to get it nice and even without any pink. It's exactly the same size so you really shouldn't have any pink uh, sticking out at all. And then I just rub it down to get all of this intricate part put in. Okay. Then what I, I found it's easier to put this down, center it, and then lay your this little frame that we're gonna put around it. So again, I'm gonna take my glue. I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, I know I'm gonna be off camera. My table is all a little wonky today. I'm gonna put this 
in the center of this. Kind of look at it to see if I have it somewhat straight. And once I get it on there, I'm just, oops, not going to do that. <laughs> Don't rub on the, the, if you use a green clap, green cap glue do not rub on it real hard until it's had a chance to grab now i'm going to have some glue where i don't want it but it'll be all right okay i'll hold on to it this time while i'm rubbing it okay and then you take your little frame we don't have a whole lot of room to work here, but I just make sure you get it on the right side that you want to be down. I just took a little bit of this glue and went around the edges, making sure that I had glue in the corners. And then you just take this and you Bring it to the edge, push it down, try to make sure that it's right next to your white piece. I have to give credit to, um, oh wow, it's Ni Nigeza Creates. It's a English, a Britain, UK demonstrator, and she did this card. Uh, I changed the colors around, but I pretty much, this, the layout pretty much stayed the same. I just liked it. I thought it was quick and simple, but yet very pretty. Let's see if I can get a little bit of this glue off that I got where it wasn't supposed to be. Okay. Then the other, now we're time for our little butterfly. So what I did with my butterfly, I actually went over it with, our very pretty Wink of Stella, just to give it a little sparkle. Just go around the edges. I always have to have a little sparkle on cards that I do. Nothing wrong with sparkle, right? Okay, and then we'll just take the... Um, so I did shape my butterfly a little bit. I hope it's dry enough for me to be able to do that. I just took my bone folder and kind of went over the edges and it's not dry. Kind of tip, tipped them down a little bit. And then I kind of fluffed them up in the middle. Take my glue. Put some just on the middle part of the, the body part of the butterfly and hold it until it hold, it gets, the glue has a chance to grab. And then I put on some, a little bit of bling, and what we're using is this fine sparkle adhesive back gems. It's got some, I believe this is mint macaron, balmy blue, probably, um, Hmm, maybe pale papaya. I don't really know what that color is. And then uh, we also have kind of a pinkish gem, and that's what I used. I think they're very pretty, and they're kind of flat, so when you put them on your card, they don't make it stick up really, really far. Take my pokey tool, and I just took one and put it in the center of the butterfly. Okay, and believe it or not, I believe we are done. Like I say it's a very quick, easy card to do. Um, here's the one we made today, along with our envelope. And here's the one I made previous. This is my sample. So there you go. I hope you like that. You can make this card in any color for any common for any occasion. Sympathy, thinking of you, uh, encouragement card, whatever. So. Thank you for so much for watching uh, this video with me and spending a little bit of time. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you real soon. God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.